Welcome everybody to another exclusive review by DreamReef.nl Today we're taking a look at another new Aquamatic product and this time it's the Aqua Breed Complete a complete cultivation unit to breed some Artemia uh, Again this is a product that hasn't been released yet so it's brand new and it's a prototype so the eventual product might be a little bit different uh, As you can see right here this is the actual cultivation unit you have to insert a tube in it and in the back you can see the bracket I mounted on the wall this time I screwed it on there the screws are not included in the kit next thing you do is place these brackets in the mounting you need to push them in really good but else they would fall out so after those are installed you can just hang on um, the cultivation unit it's already complete it has the valves installed one on the right and one at the bottom uh, I'll explain later what these are for. So while I'll continue installing the air tube on the whole system, I'll explain a little bit about this unit. The Aqua Breed Complete by Aquamedic is a complete system to breed Artemia. It comes with an air pump, it has two valves at the bottom, uh, and it's built that way that the Artemia should not drop down to the bottom but always cycle. That's why there's a cone at the bottom and that's also where the air is released. There's one big valve at the bottom that I'll show you later where you can drain the entire unit with. But there's also a valve on the side with a little um, a hose on it which is very easy to use and you can just either take out the Artemia you need. But either way if you turn off the pump the scales will drop down and you can just take Artemia out without taking any dirt out. So that's a smart system. As you can see here all you have to do after you install this is connect a few air hoses. It's all needed for your aeration system and the reason that it goes all the way up is to make sure that no water drops back out. This is the air pump by Halia. It's a nice quiet pump. At first I thought it was a little bit small but it turns out it's efficient enough to work with this unit. As you can see uh, these are the valves I talked about. At the bottom is the big valve which can drain the entire unit and now you can also see that the bottom of the unit is also a cone shape which ensures that your RTBI keeps moving while you're breeding it. So after connecting all these pieces of air tube, you grab your tube in the middle, cut it. Why? Because there's an extra valve that allows you to control your airflow, which is very important because you don't want too much air rate, but you need a little bit of air in there to keep the motion going and keep uh, oxygen levels high enough in the container. So I have to admit, I never ever bred Artemia myself simply because I found these cultivation units either too expensive or just simply because my local fish store has it stocked weekly. However, Aquamedic promised me that this thing will be cheap and on top of that, although it takes a little while to install all the parts once it's installed, I must admit that it was rather easy to use. If you're wondering what I'm putting on here, it's a hose clamp for the extra valve right there which allows you to release Artemia without taking out any dirt that I was talking about earlier. Alright, so that's it. Everything's installed, all the arrows in place. As you can see, you can take the top of the cone off, fill it with about a liter of water. Um, I already pre-added 35 grams of salt to this water. Um, that's all you need, so basically you just make an, a normal salinity level. After you've filled this unit, uh, make sure it's not leaking anywhere, that you connected all the hoses right, because you don't want your unit to be leaking over the days and end up with a wet floor. Also, another good place to install this thing is, for example, on the side of your sump or anything. Um, all it needs is the right temperature and a little bit of light. So what I used uh, is the Life A from Aquamedic. These are our Timia eggs without scales on it, so that way you will have very little dirt in your uh, breeding unit and basically all you have left is the actual Artemia. As you might know it takes about 24 hours to 48 hours depending on the temperature and the light and eventually you end up with Artemia Naupoli. That's the, one of the smallest versions of uh, Artemia. If you want to continue breeding you'll have to start feeding them in order to grow them but uh, in this case I chose to just grow Naupoli because it's fast, it's easy, and not only my fish but my corals also digest it. So this is, I think, two days later. I tried filming the Artemia Naupoli but they're so tiny that I couldn't get them on camera. 
Um, I'm going to show you two ways to drain this unit or get the artemia out, however you want to call it. The first thing you can do is use this hose clamp. Make sure you have your container underneath it, release the hose clamp, and simply it will draw out the artemia. You can see it running out. Now, this would be preferably if you don't want to empty the unit all at once, or if you use uh, skilled eggs, then you might have a little bit of dirt at the bottom of the cone, and you don't want to take that out. You just want to have to tame it. In my case, because I used the Live A units, there were no skills, there was no dirt, so I just drained the whole unit at the bottom. And I'm going to feed all the artemia now, put it in my tank, because there's enough corals that will eat the rest. On top of that, it's live food, so it won't really waste your tank that much. However, what I do always do is uh, throw away the water from the unit and sift out the naupoli with a very uh, small sift, especially made for food like this. Alright, we watched enough draining. I'm going to speed this up a little bit and show you what actually came out of the uh, container. So that's all the Napoli that came out of the cultivation unit, ready to be put in the tank. Sorry about the television by the way, uh, I forgot to switch it off and it's reflecting in my overflow box. Here's the Napoli going in, you can see how small it is and it will be uh, eaten by the fish and the corals all together. Um, I must say I'm very surprised, it was very easy to breed this, the Aqua Breed Complete made it a very easy system, especially combined with the Life A uh, skillless Artemia. So if you ever thought about breeding Artemia, this is definitely something you want to get as soon as it's released. Of course, we'll inform you when it's out there. Uh, for the time being, be sure to check out our forum or at least our Facebook. It's down below in the description. And if you want to stay up to date of Aquamatic products, I've also put a link to their website down in the description and get signed up for their newsletter. For now, thank you for watching and I'll, maybe I'll see you next time.